What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good morning. It is the Earth Master here back on this Tuesday, February 7th, 2023. It's about 12.53 here, p.m. along the West Coast in California. Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity around the Turkey region. The latest quake does show a 3.7 there. Somewhere in that cluster of earthquake activity. Also uh, some activity with a 2.8 here along the West Coast. In the uh, California region, that uh, earthquake striking around the Long Valley supervolcano, uh, literally just right along the uh, caldera edge here to the south, 2.8, uh, somewhat shallow at about 3.4 kilometers deep. Also seen a pretty good swarm of earthquake activity up at Yellowstone National Park. USGS here showing a small percentage, about 24 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. Uh, a look, though, at the Yellowstone thumbnails shows uh, quite a bit more popping off here uh, across the northwest corner of the Yellowstone region. Here is the latest seismograph station there showing quite a bit of earthquake activity in the swarm at Yellowstone. Now, these are not big earthquakes, if anything. I think the largest one was at 1.9 uh, so far. Some of these look a little bit bigger. Uh, again, USGS only showing a, a, a handful. <laughs> Definitely only a handful compared to what's here on the map. There's probably, uh, oh, if I had to guess, maybe close to a, maybe a hundred or so earthquakes. All right, uh, moving on over to the uh, Turkey area. They definitely got a lot more than a hundred earthquakes. Well, within the last uh, 24 hours here, and I've got to remember the uh, 7.8 uh, striking two days ago now. Only shown about 33 earthquakes here on the map, but if we were to pull up the uh, seven day, this is going to be 4.0 and above for the inter international communities. Uh, 132 earthquakes so far of 4.0 and above. Now look at the EMSC model here. Let me show you guys this. This is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, shows 580 earthquakes, uh, and that's in the last 48 hours. The orange in the 48 hours, a little bit older quakes, uh, last 24 hours in the red circle, and last hour in the purple circle. So that's almost 600 earthquakes, folks, uh, in this uh, in this large earthquake swarm. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some specifics here, see what's going on overnight. Uh, looks like the largest so far overnight was a 5 point, uh, I don't think we've seen any sixes. I believe we've seen uh, just that 5.5 there. Uh, still all relatively shallow earthquake activity uh, following that main quake, uh, that 7.8. Let's give a quick glance here at the magnitudes. Largest magnitude, of course, is going to be the main quake, the 7.8. Uh, and then that was followed up uh, a few hours later, well north of the main quake, 7.5. I don't believe that was an aftershock. I believe this is a separate... Um, earthquake swarm area up here and then we've seen a 6.7 very close to the 7.8 area 6.0 back in the um, back up here but further west of the 7.5 so there's a lot of uh, a lot of questions on to uh, you know what's taking place out here I think it's good to just watch observe and learn and study uh, from all this earthquake activity that we've been seeing and so far, the migration, uh, as you can see here on the map, I think last night we kind of scooted a little bit further to the east here. Uh, there's a plate boundary that runs up right around here. Should be a darker colored line in here, but it's not. But you guys can kind of see it there on those mountain ridges uh, on the uh, map here. Uh, and that's where we've seen, uh, seen a, I thought we had a six pointer up here. Maybe not, it probably got downgraded. But uh, migration here to the east, to the west, and also to the south here uh, over the last 24 hours. Now, regionally, uh, outside of that area, I'm not really seeing anything above the 4.0 threshold. We did see uh, an earthquake there in Greece, a 4.9 uh, in the Aegean Sea, about 10 kilometers deep. And a glance here at the, uh, let's go to the last 24 hours here for this area. Uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity, there's that 4.9. There's a little bit of further movement here 
uh, a four pointer much further east along that plate boundary here, uh, a distance away from the uh, main quakes there in Turkey. But you can kind of see that migration as it's scooting, trying to scoot uh, further to the east up around the uh, region, right of uh, probably position it right about here. Um, so we'll watch this and see how this um, takes place. Either way, definitely a little bit of uptick uh, across the area of the Mediterranean today. And we did see some movement out into the Atlantic Ocean with a 5.0 coming in just after midnight. Not a big earthquake, but a little bit of movement kicking off in the Atlantic area. All right, uh, throughout the region of the Mariana Trench, this region did see a little bit of uptick last night and this morning. A couple fives kicking off here. Uh, let's bring this up the newest couple fives kicking off this morning um, latest one of 5.2 pretty shallow earthquake activity down south here uh, but as we get into the trench zone the mariana trench we get these deeper earthquakes and uh, that looks like it is adding strain you remember these two these two earthquakes from yesterday uh, deeper regions most of the time we'll see adjustment upstream but if there's not enough built up pressure here uh, upstream will watch for that activity to hit the shallower regions nearby and uh, that's kind of what's taking place down here in this little uh, area looks like what is that the yap trench is that right yap just really haven't seen too much activity down here recently uh, but either way a little bit of movement here today we're also seeing a, a return of earthquake activity around the band of sea area uh, with some fours kicking off there the emsc globe Bring in this area right here. We can see uh, that area that was getting hit over here around the Maluka Sea, the Banda Sea. Remember that region? I've seen a large cluster of swarming before. That was before all of this activity there in Turkey. Well, it looks as though right now we're starting to return uh, back to that large increase in activity here across the area uh, with some threes and fours overnight, some deeper movement as well. Java Trench did see a 5.5 coming in, and uh, that's going to be this earthquake right here. 5.5 yesterday, uh, about 57 kilometers deep. Still watching the zone right here uh, across the Himalaya south. Uh, but again, um, you know, I think the main focus is what's next after all this activity. We'll continue to watch that and report on it. Uh, south America, a little bit of activity across the region. Uh, latest one shows a 4.2 down into the Peru Chile Trench, 132 kilometers deep. Uh, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand area really hasn't seen too much activity. South here, uh, we did see a 4.8 into the Tonga Trench up here, just south of Fiji. 600, top that one, 614 kilometers deep for that 4.8. Uh, in New Zealand area, I just checked the GeoNet servers. There's not a whole lot popping off down there. Uh, there's some of that deeper activity there into the Tonga Trench. And some older movement looks like uh, into the Kermadec Islands area. Um, Hawaii. See what's going on in the big blue Pacific. Not a whole lot. Very spotty. Only seven earthquakes out there along the big island. And up into the Aleutian Trench here. Uh, getting a little bit of activity across this area with uh, some threes and fours since midnight. All four of those earthquakes there um, just after midnight. One oddball earthquake way up north. Look at this. <clears throat> wow. Way up here. Uh, lap, what is that? Left have C? Hopefully that is the correct wording. Don't see too much activity up there. 4.6 historical data though does show uh, that we do get uh, some earthquakes in those little circles out there historically since about 1900. All right, uh, let's shoot over here to um, the west coast. Of course, we did have uh, that activity coming in in the last hour around the Long Valley super volcano. Um, I don't see any major swarming going on yet. Uh, might be something to watch here. 2.8, 3.4 kilometers deep. And uh, some activity up and down the um, San Andreas Fault here. This is mainly along the creeping segment, it looks like. We're just off of there. 
not uh, for some reason it's not picking up the uh, default systems here let's see what's going on should be right um, US faults yeah I don't know kind of weird a lot of times uh, when you hover over this area they give you the plate boundary name or or uh, the fault systems but for some reason that's not working today all right uh, that's okay a little bit of movement here north of the Garlock fault that's gonna be this region here uh, in that red circle we got a 1.6 near the uh, uh, bodfish area Southern California a little spotty a little bit of movement south of Tijuana uh, up into the Northern California area, some movement on the San Andreas Fault near the Bay Area. Uh, and also one little earthquake up here. This earthquake, uh, 11 kilometers deep into the uh, southern end of the Cascadia. 1.8, nothing big, uh, but still a little bit of activity kicking up here. Uh, just outside of Portland, looks like 1.9, 16 kilometers deep. Remember that Cascadia subduction zone extends... Uh, all offshore here, Northern California northward, up past the Vancouver Island range, just just uh, around the Queen Charlotte Sound area. That's where that plate boundary ends. Major subduction zone area. Uh, let's see, the rest of the country here, a little spotty. Not a whole lot going on eastward. Uh, you know, definitely uh, watching this Yellowstone swarm. I do have... Um, I do have a station there on the live stream that's keyed up. To monitor some of the activity here Yellowstone Lake Yellowstone although this activity is not occurring at Lake Yellowstone um, it will be picking up some of the larger quakes uh, that may happen there station there in Turkey looks calm for now but doesn't mean that uh, there isn't earthquake activity actually as we speak it looks like a little one coming in uh, most of the time uh, with this station we'll be looking at 4.5 and above showing up all right, uh, let's see. Space weather activity is ramping up as well. Just had um, an M flare. It's going to be this one right here. Um, we did see another M flare, a little low grade one. Um, last night, it looks like, yesterday, an M1.1. Uh, but this one right here, an M1.5, kind of peaked out uh, within the last couple hours. But notice a trend here. The general trend on this graph is showing uptick, um, you know, rising up here on the graph, increasing solar weather activity from uh, a couple different sunspots we're watching here. 3214, 3215, and 3216 um, are all gaining strength. Uh, this one up here as well, it looks like. Um, so we'll definitely watch these in the coming hours and days for the potential of some stronger flaring. Uh, there is a little elevated chance there of some M flare activity at 25%, 99% chance for a C flare. And uh, they raised the X flare potential to 5%. And that is due to the growing number of sunspots and also the dynamics of the magnetic structure within those sunspots. 3213 here harbors a beta gamma class that uh, looks like it's got a 10% chance there of an uh, M flare. AR3213 It's going to be this region up here. The newest image does show the spots getting larger, more complex. Very close structure here. And that one is facing Earth. It is on the northern, kind of the northern hemisphere here of the sun. Uh, so if anything does blast off, as far as any CME goes, we'd probably just get a bl glancing blow. Needs to be positioned a little bit further down south here, uh, such as this one. But uh, I think... A lot of these sunspots here we need to watch over the coming days uh, for uh, a little bit more flaring, getting a little bit more active out here. The Aurora forecast looks pretty uh, minimal for now. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up here um, across the um, higher latitudes. All right, folks, have yourself a good day. Uh, again, stay safe out there. I know there's a whole lot going on in the world and uh, in Turkey. Uh, best thing to do is, uh, of course, always be prepared. Um, you know, we haven't had any, um, you know, we, we had those two sevens, uh, 7.8 and the 7.5. Um, I think as time goes on here, uh, the, the likelihood of seeing a similar magnitude diminishes a little bit, but we're still kind of early. 
Uh, so don't want to I don't want to jinx it, but uh, you know there's still there's still a little possibility of seeing a larger um, similar magnitude within the area uh, following this type of movement. I mean that's just a lot of earthquake activity uh, that's kicked up here in the region. We're talking almost 600 earthquakes. That's a lot, uh, and that was from the EMSC model there. Um, over the last 48 hours. Again, kind of have to zoom in here to this area to see the uh, region in question, 583 earthquakes. And that's got a little cutoff point here too, but you know, notice that it's, that migration is kind of stretching around this plate boundary. Pretty crazy stuff. Let me show you guys here real quick. <laughs> I forgot I clicked the uh, display capture because um, I was just about done with the update, but this is it right here. This is map. 583 earthquakes up around that plate boundary here. Main quakes over here. Notice that migration though. It's stretching around the bend. We'll continue to watch that area and see how it plays out, folks. All right, now I think we are done. Have a good day. And um, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on this evening. Take care, folks.